Good morning. Thank you for having me here, Ian, the International Community Council. I had prepared something to say today. But last night, quite late, after I posted on my Facebook page that I was going to give this introduction, I was uh, contacted by an, an artist. Uh, and um, he asked me, could you please? So I changed what I had prepared. Mehdi Raybayin is an Iranian composer, musician, and the founder of the website Bar Music, an alternative music distributor in Iran. Bar Music was the main medium broadcasting alternative music in the country and had introduced more than 100 music albums and thousands of single records by Iranian alternative musicians, as well as female singers to Iranian audiences, before being shut down by the Revolutionary Guard in 2013. Mehdi was arrested pursuing illegal musical activities by Iranian security forces on the 5th of October 2013 in his office and transferred to Ward 2A of the Eden prison and was sentenced to more than two months in solitary confinement. When Mehdi Rayaban was arrested, he was recording, working on research album of history of Iran narrated by Seta. His personal studio, all recordings, hard drives of recorded music were confiscated and the project became silent. Following this came a long story of imprisonment, hunger strike to be given medical treatment, and an international campaign sparked by Free News and followed by Amnesty, United Nations Special Rapporteur on Cultural Rights, the International Pan, and many more, causing great international attention and media coverage. More than 20,000 artists from all corners of the world joined the campaign. The case of Mehdi was investigated in the summer of 2015 in Branch 28 of the Revolutionary Court by Judge Mugesh. <coughs> and finally, he was charged of unauthorized art activity, insulting religious sanctions and advertisement against the regime. He was sentenced to six years prison and fine. This sentence was, sentence was an appeal to three years imprisonment in branch 54 of the Islamic Revolutionary Court and three years of suspended sentence. He has served his three years in prison and is now serving the last three years. He cannot leave the country, but he is still artistically very active. In March this year, he released the album Middle Eastern, a unique project that brought together nearly 100 musicians from across 12 countries in the Middle East. How he managed, I don't know. Mehedi, Mehedi's case is unique, but he is not alone being imprisoned, persecuted, harassed, or censored for making music, unfortunately. Fazan, we will meet later, has her story. Rami, we will also be on stage here later, has his story. And many more stories is there to tell. Free news and the documentation they do in the state of artistic freedom and the figures they have from 2018 documenting violations on artistic freedom worldwide gives this picture. All art forms, 678 cases of violations of artistic freedom worldwide in 80 countries.
this, 270 cases on music in 55 cases, raising from 165 cases in 2017. And listen, Spain, we believe in Europe, we live in the free corner of the world. Spain is the country imprisoning most musicians the last two years with 40 cases. So this is creeping closer. There are problems in many European countries. Being an artist, censored, harassed, persecuted, prosecuted and imprisoned is a very lonely, terrible, difficult situation. So therefore, on the International Music Day, I ask you, all participants of the 6th IMC World Forum on Music, supporting the first right, freedom of expression, the right for all to express themselves musically, musically in all freedom, could you please stand up? Thank you. Mehdi, Fasana, Rami, and all artistic freedom fighters, you are not alone. Thank you.